Hi, I'm Danica and this is Yoga with Danica. Today's practice is a 15 minute simple yoga stretch. You won't need any props, so make your way onto your mat and let's get started. We will begin today seated, so finding a comfortable seat on the mat with the legs crossed out in front of you, if that's comfortable. And then once you get there, just close your eyes for a brief moment to find that extension of the spine, some groundedness in the sitting bones, and just take two simple deep breaths in and out. Just allowing yourself to arrive here to this moment. And then we'll blink the eyes open. Place the left right hand right outside of the right hip and swing the left arm up and over the head. Root down through the left sitting bone and reach through the left fingertips over to the right. Just breathing into that left side of the body. And finding just a little bit of movement, we're gonna open the heart towards the sky as you bend that left elbow like a goal post. And then exhale to bring it back to your side bend. So the inhale will open your heart towards the sky. Exhale, bring it back into your side bend. One more time. Use your inhale to windmill the arms up over the head. Place the left hand down outside of the left hip. Swing the right arm up and over the head. Root down through the right sitting bone and then reach through the right fingertips over to the left. Breathe into the right side body. And then when you're ready, begin that upper spine mobility as you open your heart towards the sky on your inhale and exhale, bring it back to your side bend. So try to move very slowly here. I know it's, it's easy when the movements seem simple to move kind of fast, but see what it would feel like or what it would change to slow it way down. Slow the breath down, slow the movements down, savor it. Exhale brings you back to your side bend and your next inhale will lift you back up, both arms up over the head, deep breath in. Exhale, float the hands down. So with that really tall spine, just drop your chin down towards your chest and take very slow movements, bringing the left ear to the left shoulder and then slowly roll the chin back towards the chest right ear to the right shoulder. And again here, this is very simple. Move slowly. And if you meet up with a place that feels like it needs a little bit of extra attention, pause, simply pause and breathe. Or if movement is what's calling for you, then simply move and breathe. Take two more rounds of breath. And then we'll roll our chin back towards our chest and then very gently lift it back up to neutral. Roll over your ankles, make your way onto all fours tabletop. Spread the fingers really wide. Curl the toes under. Lift your hips up into a downward facing dog. So bend the knees here, sending the hips way up towards the sky. And imagine your thighs moving back towards the back wall and your heart is following. Breathe. 
So any movements calling to you here in your first downward facing dog, just follow those intuitions. Feel free to do whatever is calling for you in this moment. Just try to keep it simple. Bring the toes to touch. Inhale the left foot up behind you toward the sky. And then exhale, bring it forward, place it in between the hands. And then drop the back heel down so you're kind of in warrior two legs. And then bring both hands to the inside of that left foot. And you're just gonna walk it out on a diagonal towards the front right edge of the mat. And let your heart melt back towards your thighs, kind of like we were just doing in downward facing dog. Just take one deep breath in and out. And then walk the hands back in towards the body. And then we're gonna walk it all over to the long edge of the mat, the right side of the mat with the feet parallel. Coming into a very simple wide-legged forward fold. So you can choose here how wide you want your feet to be and whatever you wanna do with your hands. You can grab a hold of your ankles you can interlace the hands behind the low back, maybe lift them up over the head, or you can just let them rest on the ground. Deep breath in. And exhale out. Inhale, come up halfway. Walk the hands towards the back side of the mat and bring that, those feet back into your warrior two feet. So your back arch is in line with your front heel. And then walk the hands out on the diagonal, reaching your heart towards your back thigh, like downward dog almost. Just keep it simple. One breath in and out. And then we'll walk it back to the center of the mat, coming back into that wide-legged forward fold. Walk both hands over to the left, grab a hold of the left ankle with the right hand, and then let the body sort of melt towards the center of the mat, the center of the fold. So you're coming into a little twist. Let the weight of the head hang, deep breath in. And exhale out. Unwinding when you're ready. Come up halfway on your inhale. And exhale, fold. Walk the hands over to the right side, grab a hold of the right ankle with the left hand, and then allow the body to sort of melt towards the center of the fold. And breathe. Unwinding when you're ready. Inhale, half lift. And then walking the feet in towards each other, just slowly heel toeing the feet in. Just coming into a simple standing forward fold. You can bend your knees here if you want. That just helps to release the low back a little bit more. Let the weight of the head hang. Breathe into the back of the body. And then we'll inhale and halfway lift. Bring the toes to touch. And we're gonna sink down into a little crouch. 
So for most of us, when we come down into a little crouch, our knees are gonna be pretty close in towards our body. That's okay, you can stay here if you want. This is doing a lot for the bottoms of the feet. If you want a little bit of fun challenge, you can begin to push your knees forward so your lap comes more parallel to the ground. Squeeze everything in towards each other. Squeeze the legs in towards each other. And you can find a place on the ground or the wall that isn't moving that helps you to find balance. Do what feels good with your hands. If you want to take them up over the head for the ultimate challenge, try it out. And if you fall, I'm sure it was fun. <laughs> As you exhale, you'll float the hands down by the sides if they're up, and then gracefully, whatever that means to you, make your way onto your seat, bring the soles of the feet together. Come towards the front of the seat, and then with a really tall spine, we'll lead with the heart as we fold forward. And going as far as feels right for you today. Take one more deep breath here. And then our inhale, we'll walk our hands back in towards the body. Just coming into a comfortable seat, whatever that means for you. You can lie down if you want to. We're just gonna finish our practice together with three deep breaths, simple three deep breaths. You can close your eyes or you can keep them open. So finding a really tall spine and let your shoulders relax down the back of the body. Elongate your tailbone down and reach the crown of the head up towards the sky. Empty out your breath and then inhale through the nose. And exhale. Deep breath in. Slow breath out. Last breath, really feel, fill up the whole body. Take your time. And then exhale, release. Thank you so much, my friends, for showing up today and sharing your practice with me. It really means so much to me. Hope you have a beautiful day. See you next time. Namaste.